In the last two videos, I shared how Revelation 17.3 exposed the Vatican being a church and state combined that sits on seven hills exactly as prophecy said the headquarters of Antichrist will be. In that same prophetic verse, however, is yet another prophetic element we need to take a look at that can also be seen fulfilled by the Vatican. Again, Revelation 17.3 says, So he carried me away in the spirit into the wilderness, and I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet-colored beast, full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. As we know, scarlet in reality is the color red. In prophecy, this exposes the Vatican twofold. The color red in prophecy depicts sin. Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 says, Come now and let us reason together, saith the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. Now, I will not be getting into all the sins of the Vatican religious system, as I have literally hundreds of newsletters and thousands of pages and scores of videos and sermons outlining all the open sins of the Vatican and every church under its rule, which today is all of them, that have membership in the World Council of Churches. Anyone with a Bible and Christ as their king, knows all about the evils of the Roman Catholic Church. In fact, and this is not a well-known fact for most people, but every denominational founder has declared in writing over the centuries that the Pope is in fact the man of sin, the Antichrist, as well as every other prophetic title given unto the Pope by the God that wrote the Bible. Yet since the founders of every denomination have gone to their rest, those that took up the work after them have hidden the truth on this. And some, like the Seventh-day Adventist Church, have even gone so far as to defend the Pope. That too, by the way, was prophesied. Rome has its hand in everything from paganism, blatant blasphemy, mass murders of hundreds of millions of Christians before, during, and after the Inquisition, as well as child molestation, political assassination, and the cultivation of international and even global wars, just to name a few. To cover in detail such things would make for a video that would take years to make. At present, I have thousands of pages of data exposing all this, and much, much more on my main site at remnantofgod.org. But, I do believe it is important to touch on this scarlet colored beast, which represents a church that runs openly in sin, because I need to set the foundation of this scarlet beast now, as I will be touching on the prophesied great red dragon that is mentioned in Revelation 12.9 later on in this video series that exposes the Vatican in ways that only in the end of days can something this evil be ignored and even sanctioned by so many people claiming to be Christians. For now, I would like to touch on the rather obvious mention of the color scarlet here that shows a powerful connection to sin like no other. When we look at the Vatican celebrations, we see that scarlet is the color that is used for these public festivities. This is done as a satanic boast against the God of the Bible who revealed such things in the prophetic book of Revelation. It is obvious the Pope and prelates do in fact prefer the color scarlet for their robes during their pagan celebrations, which do in fact glorify the dying God of this world. Prophecy fulfilled. Thank you for watching. God bless.